Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the shelf storage cubby with three baskets. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. Also, the storage cubbies come in multiple colors, but the assembly will be the same. So let's get started. For step one, you will need part A, the bottom, part B, the left, part C, the right, two of part D, which are the lower middles, four of the I medium screws, and four of the J large screws. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a drill. If you also want to use a drill, make sure you have the torque setting set on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand filled screwdriver. For this first step, what we're going to be doing is placing the two side panels and the two middle panels and connect them to the bottom piece. When you're looking at the bottom, part A, you're going to see one side that has this groove along the back. What we want to do is make sure that when we're putting these panels on here that we're making sure we're lining up all these grooves nicely. What I'm going to do is start by putting on the left panel, which is part B, and it's going to be coming off the side, the very two end holes here. We're going to line them up with the two holes on this end here. Now you'll also see on this part B that there's two holes in the middle that are closer to one side. Now you want these holes to be closer to the side that is going to be going or connecting to the part A. You're going to line up these holes and you're going to put the larger of the screws going through the bottom of this part A up into this panel part B. Now when you're screwing from the bottom side to make these screws tight, make sure you're watching this groove and make sure that it lines up very nicely with this part for a later step. So when you're tightening the screws into place, make sure that that line stays consistent. So let's get these tightened into place. Now we're going to repeat the same thing with the other side. We're going to take part C and we're going to be going off on these two end holes here. Again, making sure that this groove lines up nicely with this groove here. Also these two holes here need to be closer to the side that goes onto this part A panel. Again, using the larger of the screws going through the bottom here. Lastly, what we're going to be doing is putting on the two middle panels. Now when looking at these little panels, the part D, you're going to see one end that has larger holes and you're going to see one side that has smaller holes. You want the smaller holes to connect into the part A panel. The larger holes you want facing away from this. So we're going to take the smaller holes, we're going to line it up to these holes here and we're going to be putting in the smaller or the medium size eye screws going from the bottom and into those little holes. So let's get these screwed into place. We're going to repeat the same thing with the other medium, middle panel as well.
For step two, you need part E, the shelf, part O, the upper middle, four of the J large screws, two of the I medium screws, and six of the K pegs. For step two, what we're going to do first is we're going to be putting the upper middle panel onto the shelf. When looking at this panel, you're going to see one side that has the smaller two holes, and you're going to see the other side has larger two holes. We want the smaller of the two holes to go onto the shelf panel. And this is where we're going to be using the I medium sized screws, not the large ones. When looking at the shelf, you're going to see one side that just has these two holes, and then the other side is going to have many. This is going to be facing down. So the side that has just the two screw holes is where this piece is going to come off from and we're going to screw from the other side going up into this middle panel. So again, small holes on this panel is going to be going down onto the shelf. We're going to use these smaller screws from the underside going right up into the panel and we're going to get this panel screwed into place. So next what we're going to do is put the shelf onto this piece that we've already put together. When putting on the shelf, you're going to see on the bottom that there's all these holes that are going to be lining up to these middle shelves that we already have into place. So what we need to do is we need to put pegs into these four holes in the middle shelves. Then we're going to place this shelf onto these middle dividers, making sure that those pegs get into the bottom of this shelf. So let's first put those four pegs into place. And then we're going to place this on top, again making sure that all four of those pegs get into their holes. All right. Once all four pegs are pushed firmly into place, we're going to put in the last two pegs into this upper middle divider for a later step. Lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to put four of those large screws going into each of these side panels. There should be two on each side to hold this middle shelf into place. So let's get all four of these screwed in. For step three, you need part F, the back. For this step, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the back panel into place. Now, if you had made sure that this groove was aligned around the whole outer edge here, this should slide easily down into place. In the case that one of your grooves don't line up, all you need to do is loosen these bottom screws or these side screws, adjust it a little bit, and then make sure you retighten them. It's important that this groove is continuous all the way so that this can slide all the way down as far as it can into this bottom panel. So we're going to align it on both sides. And then you should be able to slide it all the way down and again making sure you get it down as far as you can into that lower panel. For step four, you need part G, the top, four of part J, which are the large screws, and three of part H's, which are the basket bodies and the basket bottoms. So for this step, what we're gonna be doing is putting this top panel onto the very top here. Now, if you recall, you put in these middle pegs here. These middle pegs need to go into these middle holes here. Make sure that the pegs are all the way in, and then you also have these four screw holes that are gonna line with the four on the outside. Now one important thing is this groove here that you see along the back. This is where this back panel needs to go into this groove. So we're going to first put this on top. We're going to get that back panel into this back groove and those pegs into those two middle holes. So we're going to be putting that back groove going down. And shifting it around until you know that you have this whole back panel into this back groove and those peg holes into place.
Once it's down firmly, then what you'll do is you'll take those four large screws and you're going to screw into all four of these holes on the top. For this step, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making the baskets. You're going to take the basket body, unfold it, you're going to take the basket bottom. You'll see that one edge is longer. That's going to go towards the length of the basket body here. We're going to put this bottom all the way in and push it down firmly in all four corners. And then lastly, we'll put the baskets right into place. So we'll repeat the same thing with the other two baskets. In the case that you want to stack two of these together or put these on top of other cubbies, it's important that you put on the safety feature of putting on metal brackets to hold them together for safety reasons. Now it does come with these small metal brackets where you'll see they fit over these two holes here. Now the only way this is going to line up is if you have the top of the bottom one inside the legs and the bottom of the other and align these so that they're flush in the back. Now this bracket will then go into place where you're lining up the two holes, the very bottom and the very top hole to the holes of these cubbies. What you're going to do is you're going to use these very small screws which are going to go into these, the very top and the very bottom hole where you need to use a small handheld Phillips screwdriver. So what we'll do is we're going to put in the first one on here top. Get that screwed into place. And then we're going to put in the bottom one. Now you're going to repeat this process on this other side, doing the same thing. And that concludes the assembly for the shelf storage cubby with three baskets. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.